it. The last example on the worksheet is, is using Laplace transforms to solve a, uh, a system of equations. When you use Laplace transforms to solve a system of equations, then uh, the Laplace of x, actually let me write it this way, the Laplace of x of t, that's what this x represents right here, is going to be x, which is a function of s, and we'll just write that as, as capital X. And the Laplace of Y of T, or the Laplace of Y, is just going to be our capital Y. It's Y, it's a function of S, but we'll just write it as capital Y. And then when you apply your inverses, uh, I mean when you apply the Laplace to you, your uh, derivatives, just uh, make sure that you're consistent and if you're taking the Laplace of x prime you're going to get s x minus x zero whereas the Laplace of y prime is s y minus y zero so let's take each one of these equations and apply the Laplace to it uh, this first equation gives us, we have the Laplace of uh, dx dt, that's our first derivative, is going to give us sx minus x0, s capital X minus x0, which is our initial condition, plus 3 times the Laplace of x, which is just going to be our capital X, plus uh, the Laplace of dy is going to give us S capital Y minus Y of 0 is equal to the Laplace of 1. And the Laplace of 1 is 1 over S. You can simplify this by applying the initial values. And here, both of our initial values are 0. x0 is 0, y0 is 0. So I'm going to take this equation, bring it down just a little bit, and I'm going to combine my x terms. So I have s plus 3 x plus s y is equal to 1 over s. Separate that. And then let's work with our second equation. Here I get dx dt, that's going to be sx minus x0, uh, minus x, minus x, plus dy dt, that's going to give us sy minus y0, minus y equals the Laplace of e to the t is 1 over s minus 1. And when you apply these initial conditions, both of these are equal to 0. x0 is 0, y0 is 0, and so they cancel out. And if I combine my x terms, I get s minus 1, x, and combine my y terms, I get s minus 1, y. And the uh, Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 1. Oh no, is equal to 1 over s minus 1. That's what I have. Hmm. I can solve this system either by elimination or by substitution. And 
and I'm thinking that the best way to solve this is by taking this second equation. Because I have the s minus 1 in common, I'm going to divide by s minus 1. And that's going to put an s minus 1 squared in this, in this, uh, on the right side of the equation. It's going to give me x plus y. And then if I multiply this, if, and then if I multiply this equation by negative s, I'm going to get a negative sy, which will cancel out with my sy times negative s. It's going to give me the system, it's going to give me s plus 3x plus sy is equal to 1 over s, and it's going to give me negative sx minus sy equals negative s over s minus 1 squared. And I can add these equations together, and these y terms cancel out. Uh, on my x terms, I'll be able to add the coefficients, and notice that I have an sx here and a negative sx here. Those cancel out and it'll leave me with just 3x. And on the right side I have 1 over s minus s over s minus 1 squared. I'll probably want to combine my terms on the right side. Well, I don't know, it might be better just to leave them like this. If I combine these terms on the right side, then I'll have to do partial fraction decomposition. And in order to solve for x, all I have to do is divide by 3 or multiply by 1 -third. And I know how to do the inverse Laplace of this, and it'll also put a one-third here. And the problem with this one is that I have a shift in the denominator, so I could take this part of the fraction and give the same shift in the numerator, but then add it. and then break this up into two fractions, one where I have s minus 1 over s minus 1 squared, and that one you're going to be able to reduce, plus 1 over s minus 1 squared, which you can't reduce, but this is just a, just a shift. Here you can reduce to give you 1 over s minus 1 and that, when you apply the inverse Laplace, just gets you back to the exponential. So doing it this way is much simpler than doing partial fraction decomposition. Okay, so I've solved for x in terms of s, and now once I get x in terms of s, I could take uh, gosh, I can go back and solve for y, and so let me do that before I, I do my inverse Laplaces. So here's my x, and I'm going to solve for y by, by using Uh, this equation, 
before I multiplied through by the negative s. And then I just had uh, this equation was x plus y is 1 over s minus 1 squared, s minus 1 squared. And so I've got y is equal to negative x plus 1 over s minus 1 squared. And here's my x. So I get y is equal to the opposite of x. That's going to give me a negative 1 third times 1 over s. And that negative is going to change this to a plus 1 third. Inside my brackets here, I have 1 over s minus 1 plus 1 over s minus 1 squared. And then I have plus 1 over s minus 1 squared from here. Hmm. So I have like terms. This term, this term are like terms. We can combine them. Okay, uh, so if I simplify here by combining those terms, I'm going to get y equals negative one-third times one over s plus one-third times one over s minus one. And then this one-third will go here, and I'm adding on that same fraction one time, so three-thirds times. I'm going to get plus four-thirds times 1 over s minus 1 squared. Now for both my x and for my y, I'm going to apply the inverse Laplace to get my solution to the differential equation. Uh, here I'm going to get x of t is equal to 1 third times the inverse Laplace of 1 over s is just 1 minus uh, minus one-third times, this is 1 over s minus 1, and the inverse Laplace of 1 over s minus 1 is e to the 1t, or just e to the t, uh, plus uh, 1 over s minus 1 squared, this uh, s minus 1 squared, that gives me a shift. This is my uh, first shifting theorem. And that tells me that I'm going to have an e to the t multiplied by the inverse Laplace of 1 over s squared, which is t. Let me put that t in front. So I get t e to the t. This is my x, and my y that solves the system is going to be negative one-third, uh, and again I'm applying the inverse Laplace here, is negative one-third times the inverse Laplace of 1 over s, which is 1, plus one-third times the inverse Laplace of 1 over s minus 1, which is e to the uh, t, plus four-thirds times the inverse Laplace of 1 over s minus 1 squared, which is the same thing I had here. Uh, from this first shifting theorem, you're going to get the e to the t, and then the inverse Laplace of 1 over s squared gives you a t. And so here's my y that solves the system.